For solving the surface area of a cylinder, you're always doing the exact same thing. You're going to break it up into two different parts. Area of the circles and area of triangle uh, of rectangle. Rectangle, where does the rectangle come in? Well, what happens when you make a net of this thing is if you take this and cut it and open it up, what's going to happen is this is going to unfold into a rectangle. This part will flap up and that part will flap down. So you're going to have a net that's going to look something like this. So the top portions, these little circles are going to be here. Okay, the top and bottom. And let's make this orange. This is going to unfold into a rectangle. And what you're, what you're um, supposed to notice here is that this length, I mean this height here, is 6 with this rectangle. Um, and the length around the circle is the exact same length as that rectangle. So this is going to be the circumference of the circle is equal to this length. This is your circumference of your circle. We'll label it C. And circumference is pi D. That's the formula for circumference is pi D. Pi times diameter. So now we find the area of each circle. Now that we've kind of established what this is going to look like. We have area of a circle is pi r squared. That's this thing, area of a circle, pi r squared. For pi, we use 3.14. For radius, that's the distance from the middle to the outer edge of the circle. And as you can see, it's 3. So 3 squared. What's 3 squared? 9. That's another symbol for multiply. There's a little dot. But sometimes we put them in brackets. Anyway, 3.14 times 9. Put that in a calculator. Going to get 3.14 times 9. Carry all the digits here. 28.26. Keep them all. Write them all down. It's not too many. It doesn't repeat forever. It's just two more digits. So write them all down. Now we have, that's an area of one circle. We're going to, I usually put, Two little circles to notify that's two circles. I'm going to multiply this by two to get two circles, both circles. Multiply that by two, I get 56.52. This is the area of the circles now, both circles together, right? Because there are two circles. This was one circle, and now we have two circles. That is the area of those two circles. Now I just need to find the area of the rectangle. So this yellow part is done. Okay, that's the yellow, both those two circles. Now I need to find the area of the rectangle, which is going to be area of a rectangle is base times height. What is my height? It's six. What is my base? Circumference, pi d. So pi d times height. Okay, what's pi? 3.14. What was our D again? Well, our D over here, it said that the radius is 3. If I go all the way across, what is my diameter? It's going to be 6. So we're going to multiply by 6, multiply by what's H? H was 6. So 36 times 3.14. 36 times 3.14. And we get 113.04. Carry all those digits. This is the orange. That's that rectangle. Right? We had base times height. Our base was circumference times the height. We calculated that out and we got 113.04. Sometimes I put a little rectangle here to show me that that's the area of a rectangle. Or a little square. Add these things together we should get our total. So 113.04 plus 56.52. And we get 
169.56, which to the nearest tenth, this is a rounding sign, 169.6, which is the same answer we get above.